Pennsylvania representative Chris Sonato could not be here today because he had an unexpected meeting in Pittsburgh, but he had sent a representative, Dana McQuesten, to represent his office. So we thank them for coming. I'd like to introduce Pennsylvania Senator Elder Vogel. Thank you, Dana. It's great to be here this evening. Uh, you have a nice crowd here. You have a lot of nice vendors here and everything this evening. And the crisis shelter does do a, a great work and a much needed work here in Lawrence County. And I'm glad we have everyone here supporting it. Like Jared said, we will work hard in Harrisburg this year. We worked last year during the budget situation to get funding for these programs restored. And we'll uh, probably have to do that again this year, but we'll keep up the fight. And with your support, why we'll uh, do what we can to see if these programs continue to exist. And, funding is there you need to uh, promote these programs throughout the county and I want to thank you all for coming in and thank you very much for having me here this evening. Next we're very pleased to have United States Representative Jason Altmeyer. I want to commend Dana for the great work that she's done in Georgia and the entire board for the work that they have done in putting this program together, not just today, but across multiple communities, across the entire region, to tell a story that nobody likes to tell. Nobody wants to talk about this issue. This isn't something that's fun to hear about. And Christy, thank you for being here to tell your story. It is incredibly difficult. I can't imagine what that must be like. And I want to thank you for being here. And that is the story that we heard is what this program is all about. And it's not about the elected officials that are here. It's not about even the crisis shelter or law enforcement. Because they're doing their job. This is about us. This is about our responsibility. And when we hear stories like we heard, it's our responsibility to take them seriously. So that's why I'm here, and that's why you're here. So as a community, let's do what this is supposed to be about. Let's come together, let's take this problem seriously, and if we hear of any situation similar to what we're discussing today, take it to the authorities, take it to the crisis shelter, take it to the law enforcement people who do amazing work, but they can't do that job unless they know about it. And that's what this is about. So thank you for letting me be a part of this. Christy, again, thank you for telling your story. and Thank you to the Crisis Shelter for the work that you do. Hi, I'm Melissa Stell Fox, the Education Supervisor for the Crisis Shelter of Lawrence County. And it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you the police chief of the Newcastle Police Department, Chief Thomas Sansone. I want to thank the uh, shelter for inviting me here today. Uh, I don't want to talk about what everyone else already did because I think they all brought good points across. Uh, when I'm talking to people of any victim, they asked me what they could do to help uh, the police department. I always say, you have to be our eyes and ears. We can't be everywhere. So we need you to call us. We need you to tell us what's going on. If it's something you think is stupid, tell us. We'll decide whether we can use it or not. You know, the same holds true for the uh, victims we're talking about today. You know, no one knows when they're going to disclose. It could be to anyone. And, uh, a lot of time it's definitely not to the police, it's to someone else if they decide it's time for me to talk about it. Uh, that's the point where people need to step up to the plate, listen to them, believe them, and take the initiative to contact someone in charge, whether it be the crisis shelter, uh, some children's services, or the police department. That helps us all. You know, they're, they're, some of the people that are the offenders are the people that these victims look up to. They have a hard enough time having this happen. So we have to definitely help them when they decide that they can open up and need help. I thank everyone for being here today. Thank you. Our featured speaker this evening is Sue Ashone, 
the executive director of the Children's Advocacy Center of Lawrence County. Prior to her current position, she was also employed at the Crisis Shelter of Lawrence County, which was then known as the Women's Shelter Rape Crisis Center. She worked there for 13 years and served in different capacities, including assistant director, program coordinator, and children's counselor. Additionally, she was a creative arts therapist with the Therapeutic Activities Program at Human Services Center. Sue holds a BS degree in music therapy from Slippery Rock University and is currently finishing her master's degree in project management with an emphasis in nonprofit. Mrs. Schoen holds membership with the American Professional Society on Abuse of Children and is actively involved in many community boards and task forces dealing with child abuse and child maltreatment. Currently, Sue is a member of the Lawrence County Drug and Alcohol Commission Board of Directors, the Mental Health Mental Retardation Advisory Board, and the Juvenile Advisory Committee. We're so welcome to have an expert in the field here this evening. Please welcome Sue Ashone. Thanks, Dana, very much, and I really appreciate having the opportunity to be here to speak with all of you. As Dana said when she began this tonight, one in four girls and one in six boys will be victims of sexual abuse before they're 18 years of age. Who are the perpetrators of this crime? They aren't the strangers that we talked about 25 years ago that we thought abused children, that we talked to children about, that we warned them about. They are the parents, the step-parents, boyfriends or girlfriends of parents, other relatives or babysitters. These are the folks, the ones that our, ch that our children are taught to love and to trust. If these are the people that are responsible for the abuse, think about how difficult it must be to tell on someone so close to you. Family members find it hard to fathom that their child is telling them about abuse by someone, most likely a part of their family. And how devastating that is when you think about the loyalty that children have to the people that they love and trust. <laughs> 